So hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are starting my knee rehab. I'm going to start this as a new sort of playlist. So if you want to see what I get up to in my rehab and physio, then carry on watching. Um, I've just literally got to Total Fitness in Wilmslow. I'm here to meet Andy Renshaw from Harrison Ross Physiotherapy. Uh, I was basically told in my consultation that he's one of the best for ACL uh, rehab. So. Yeah, I hope it goes well. I'm in I'm in great hands. He was the head of physio for Liverpool Football Club for like eight years, so I'm really looking forward to getting started with him and get some content. He's allowed me to bring my camera in, so I'll see what I can get. And yeah, stay tuned. See you in there. Yeah, one thing that Nigel did note as well is that that quad's slightly weaker. Yeah, just roll your shorts up the touch front. Tighten your quads up as much as you can. Yeah, you can see the size deficit, can't you? Relax back down. Okay, so the first thing you need to look at I'm being extremely fussy here by the way. <laughs> There's a tiny amount of fluid in here. Yeah, I, I, I can see it just popping through a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. So if you just watch that bit where my finger is, right? Yeah. I'll do it again. Yeah. So if you watch there yeah. in a sec. It's like a very small wave where the skin is oh, just yeah. lifting a touch. But it's not much at all, I think. How about in terms of bending it up towards you then? Can you pull your bum into your heel? Yeah. Okay. Any issue? Nothing. Exactly the same with the opposite one. Exactly the same spot, yeah. Okay, come back down, chill out. A bit of hyperextension, you know, don't you? Uh, <laughs> same both sides anyway, so don't worry about that. Just relax and let this leg just chill out on me. I've got a little bit more laxity on that side, I don't know you can you tell the difference between me if I See that no? no. Tell you what, you might get a great view on a camera angle where you can see it right. going a little bit further forward. Right, in that position now. Just tell me if any of this is so. Okay, it's what? A little bit there, like only a tiny bit. No. Do you? Um, you just pop your other knee up very, Like, not sore, but like I could feel it. Let's just compare it to this side and tell me if it's similar. Oh, no, I can feel the same. Okay, cool. I'll we'll keep that leg there for a minute. Anything at all? No. Definitely nothing on this little side as well, yeah? Nothing. Walks down again. Yeah, just chill out for the leg. Just relax down, that's it. Normal, that don't panic. Oh, right. <laughs> what, the way it wiggles a little yeah. bit. Yeah, that's alright, it's normal, just relax there now. See that as well? Yep. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it moves so much in that position, it's not normal, but that's normal. Yeah. That's a stable there. Side as well. Just relax 
books and let me tell the way if you like for a sec. tenderness, yeah. right? So what I'm looking at there is that meniscus. Yeah. That shock absorber that sits inside your knee joint. Yeah. Exactly as we were describing when you were talking to me then before. If you've not got any giving way, any locking, any catching pains and things like that, yeah. you've obviously had a decent amount of strength into your legs to try and protect you, but you've also, by the sounds of it, got menisci, so meniscus left no, inside and outside, so your medial lateral are obviously in decent nick. And that's why we're not really finding anything with those little yeah. joint line tests. Now we can test the meniscus by bringing your knee in and then rotating it as well. Do you get anything in that position? Yeah. We can then further help that by putting a bit of a force. Just feels a bit uncomfortable. That's yeah. All. No sort of pain. As I bring that down to straighten. Okay. Yeah. And again, just specifically for that outer side. Maybe. Yeah. Where else do you feel that? Yeah, just as a whole, just because it's outwards. <laughs> I think after, I was like, I think exactly as Nigel said, when you do that pivot shift mechanism, I think you just jam that side of your joint up, right. and you've got a bit of bone bruising in here. I don't think there's anything else there at all. Okay. What we need to be guided with here, though, is a little bit of a strength program. Okay. Have a sit down there for a second. I'll we'll let you pop your shoes back on for a second. Have a sit down in your chair. Shoulders on one, feet on the other. Yep. Yeah, might need the bench. Right, in that position now. Yep. So did you warm up? All I want you to try and do now, yep. we're gonna have a go on your left leg first. So if you bend your right knee, you switch above your hip for me. Right? What I'd like you to try and do now is take three seconds to lower yourself as low as you can go. And then three seconds to bring yourself back up again. So keep it nice, steady and slow. And see if you can get five. So you've got a hip dominant hamstring exercise. I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, oh. there you go. Yeah. Tough exercise, yeah? Yeah, very tough. This is my good leg. It's got a slight bend in your left knee for me. Now try it. Might be a little bit easier in that position. Yes. So if you can't do it with a straight leg, slightly bend your knee. Okay. One more and then leave that because that's your five on that right, that left side. Now try and do it on the opposite leg now, the same as you were doing before. What, with a straight leg? We'll try, we'll keep it bent like because I don't think you'd really be able to do it on that side. Steady, slow, controlled. If we work unilaterally, you'd be able to work on those deficits. Two leg exercises are no good for you at the moment. I was saying before, so although you're stronger, you're going to weight more, yeah. so it makes it, it makes it very, very difficult for you to stop. Yeah, about 16 minutes <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, that's not going to be easy at all. No. Yeah, I think I'm going to fly off somewhere in a second. Just a small knee bend, hip, knee, second toe, and using the mirrors to keep an eye on it. So keep that knee aligned. Think about as you're doing it, think about the mechanism of your injury. Yeah. What you're trying to avoid is <laughs> yeah. what you're trying to avoid is that knee kicking in. Yeah. And what you'll feel is the, the further down you go, the more that's likely to occur. Yeah. So just take it to about 30 degrees and then bring yourself back in again. Small knee bend, hip knee, second toe, control. Yeah. That's normal, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. If you're not sure, just step off. Right. I need to do it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. 
what's going to happen. first and start at the bottom and push up. Tell you what, it doesn't have to take it out of your quads. What's that? It doesn't have to take it out of your quads. You see as well, this is ideal. This is what we like a neuromuscular control exercise. So. You need co contraction of your glutes, your quads, and your trunk muscles to make sure you're steady. Yeah, yeah. Right? We're trying to resist the urge but whenever you're bending that knee, yeah. your knee to be allowed to drop so it. Drop it. Because we can't have that. Yeah. Right? We know that we've got an issue there where there's, you know, there's a deficit that we can't correct unless we go in surgically. Yeah. So we'll try and avoid not doing that as long as possible yeah. if we can. Um, does that sound alright? Has that sort of answered yeah. questions and given you? So. Everything you need, you reckon, for a couple of weeks? Yeah. See how you go with it. Yeah. Let's see how you go with it now. Okay. Right. So, we've just finished up my first session with Andy, as you've just seen. Um, yeah, the knee is absolutely completely damaged. There's no sort of internal damage that I need to be worried about. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to get cracking with the new exercises. I've got to do legs four times a week. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, really looking forward to getting back on track and hopefully get back to playing football reasonably soon. All done here and I'm going to try and get the next one done and then yeah, I'll be on you for the week and back into the gym for the next one. So I'll see you after that. So just got home, managed to get a haircut on the way home as well which is ideal because I haven't had one for I don't even know how long and I can't be bothered with the pain of my mum cutting my hair again. It usually takes about an hour. Um, Took about 15 minutes at the hairdressers. We have really good news with my knee. Apparently it's not as bad as I thought it was at first. Apparently it's like a pinching of the bones and the ligament, um, like in a bit of bruising in the bone uh, that's causing the pain. Doesn't seem like there's any damage to my meniscus either. Um, and my knee has pretty much little to no swelling left now. I'm just looking forward to get on track with the rehab and see how it goes. Um, the only thing is I'm not looking forward to is doms pretty much every single day four leg days a week essentially um but yeah i'll be tracking my progress so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one